Hello and welcome to our ninth episode of Cigar Time, possibly the only cigar TV show in the country. Is yeah, it? Okay. Yeah, it could be. I don't know, I don't know but it just may be. TV show, um, yeah. We're here to certainly talk about all best. things cigars. What's that? Certainly, certainly the best. Certainly the best. Yeah, certainly the best. I'm going to introduce our distinguished panel. First to my uh, right, we have <laughs> Rob. How you doing, everybody? And after him, we have Paul. Hello. We have a guest panelist. Uh, we needed a warm body, so many of you might know Mr. Fritz from uh, our uh, radio show. Good afternoon, everybody. Yeah, think about Evening that. now, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, yeah, think about hey, that. I'm used to the radio show stuff. <laughs> it's been a long day. <laughs> and finally, but certainly not least, we have Miss Tia. Hello. So we're going to start the show off a little bit differently this week. Um, we had some comments come in from some of the viewers that, that they wanted more of uh, us smoking the cigars and rating the cigars. So we, uh, we, we don't have time to go through the whole process of lighting everything, so we already smoked the Eduardo, and we are going to jump right in and tell you about it and rate it. Yeah, the, uh, the Eduardo. This is the original Eduardo. It's called the Eduardo Suave. It has an Ecuadorian Connecticut wrapper, an Indonesian binder, and Colombian filler. It's very smooth, very mild cigar. One of the few cigars that I think has all Colombian filler, actually. It is, it yeah. Maybe the only one. Probably the only one. Colum Col Col Colombian of filler is pretty rare. Yeah. yeah. It, it's, it, it's expensive, isn't it? It's expensive in uh, full leaf, you know, long leaf. Long leaf, right. Uh, most Colombian tobacco is used in chopped up short leaf form for machine made cigars. Yeah. Okay. But well. long leaf Colombian is very tasty. This is yeah. very, it's this very is long yeah, leaf. This is long leaf. Yes. Yeah. Absolutely. This so is wanna, absolutely one of our wanna... best selling cigars. Mm -hmm. Oh, it is probably our best selling. It cigar. is. I think it is. Because we might want to explain. The master blend is coming up, though. But yeah, the the, uh, the Eduardo, just so people know, is our house cigar. Mm -hmm. It's made by us in our own factory in the Dominican Republic. Mm -hmm. Right. That is true. Almost de Santiago. It used to be made here. We used to make them, roll them here. Yes. Eduardo used to roll them. Eduardo. Mm -hmm. That's the name. That's why they're Eduardo. called Eduardos. <laughs> right. So yeah. What do you think? Just, what do you think? Um, yeah, I love this cigar. This was the first cigar I think I've ever smoked in the store when I first started here. Um, great. It's a mild flavor, creamy. Great cigar. Give it cool. a four. Well, um, oh, oh, no, wait. Yeah. Jump the radio. Oh, what's wrong with you? I thought we were going fast. What was your fast. first radio? Holy I'm sorry. Miracle. It is my first radio. Mike, what do you think? Well, this is probably one of my favorite cigars. Uh, before I even worked here, I used to buy these by the bundle. Yeah, that's right. It was a fabulous cigar, and I've been smoking them a long time. And I light them now. Other people get that joke. You light them now. Remember, just remember the commercial, the first commercial oh, yeah, we yeah. shot? The first commercial yeah, we shot, I've been smoking yeah. these cigars for a long time. They said it helps if you light it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that was, yeah, you got to dig yeah. that up and put it on. Yeah. It was a long time ago. Though. Yeah, it was. I like it a lot. It's very mild. It's mm -hmm. smooth. It's creamy. Mm -hmm. It's got flavor. And... It is a phenomenal value. Yeah, we can't 450. Leave the, yeah. At 450, yeah. you can't yeah. leave that out of the equation. It's been no, 450 for a long time. For a long it has time, been, yeah. yeah. Um, I, I really like the cigar. It's one of my favorite cigars in the store. I, I agree, it's very, very creamy. It's also very buttery. Um, that's what I get from it when I blow through my nose. Um, very good. Uh, do you blow a lot of butter through gotta, your nose? I do. I got to learn actually. that blow through the nose technique. I'm, I'm scared I'm going to, you know, We can inhale. actually teach you how to do it. All right. Yeah. Some people Christian call it a retro yeah. hail. Yes. It's very nice. I, got um, I, I, I really love this cigar. It's, uh, I guess I'm going to echo what everybody else said. Um, it's very creamy. Um, I'll agree with the buttery. It's a mild cigar. It's great like a, a, to start the day off with a cup mm -hmm. of coffee. Fantastic cigar. And yes, it is a fantastic value. Yeah. yeah. So, All right. So our, oh, our we already know you gave yeah, it a four. You gave I a four. four. Do you want to comment on the band to you? There's yeah. no band. There's no band. <laughs> <laughs> it's nude. Yeah. But the construction is beautiful. So yes, it, is. it is. makes up for no band. Mm -hmm. So I give it a four. Right. I should have went higher. Okay. I give it a four and a half. It is still one of my go to cigars. Oh. I, I love this cigar. Well, even though I'm not in between you two, I'm going to fall right in between you two and give it a four to five. Oh. Yeah, I, I, I agree with Mike. It's a 4.5. I'll go with the 4.25. Uh, I'm with Paul on that one. Yeah? Sure. Yeah. I, know, well, I, I say the four, four because the master blend is just my favorite. Well, so, uh, all right. Well, but that brings it in about a four to five. Yeah. Yes, yeah. it does. Yeah, it does. Absolutely. Absolutely. Okay. okay. Uh, I guess we're going to put these out now? Yeah. yeah. Let's, Let's go with our other one. What do we have today. coming up next, Tia? Yeah. Our cigar we're smoking today is the Ashton VSG, one of my favorites. The wrapper is a sun grown Ecuadorian, the binder is oh, a Dominican, oh, and the filler is Dominican. The sizes are a Bellicoso, Churchill, Corona, 
Gordo, Perfecto, Presidente, Robusto, Toro, and Torpedo. The tastes profile are mixed nuts with coffee and pepper. Where am I cigar? Thank mm -hmm. you. Yeah. Yeah. Oh and God, while Teresa and yeah. Caroline are handing out the cigars. Yeah, yeah I guess we're going to Paul in the field or in the Paul's factory. Gonna, Paul's going to be in the factory. So uh, what do you got for us today, Paul? W what is all this? This is my day's allocation of cigars to smoke. Yeah. I, think yeah. you're, I think you're missing one. Yeah, you're missing a couple. Yeah. yeah. Well, I smoked a few already. Uh, no, actually. I want um, all of them. We, we're going to talk about sizes and shapes and Thank what's you. inside. The anatomy of a cigar. Nice. Broadly speaking, cigars fall into two shape categories. One is called parejos, and that just means they're straight. It's your, thank you, it's your typical cigar. It's straight. It's rounded at the cap, at the head. Thank you. It's, uh, well, in this case, it's banded at the foot, but the sides are straight. There's no taper to it. There's no angle to it. Within Parejos, there are a lot of sizes. I'm not going to list all of them. There are actually dozens of them, and they all have names, but I'm going to go through the most common ones. This little guy here, which we call a quickie, is actually called a tre petite corona, which means a very little corona. They're usually about four inches by a 40 ring gauge. A step up from there, you get a regular corona, typically five to five and a half, typically a 42 ring gauge, sometimes a 44. Then we get into the ones that you probably know even better. This is a Robusto. Robustos are usually five inches. They're usually 50 ring gauge, sometimes a little bigger. That's a Toro. That's six, my favorite. Six by yeah, 50. Yeah. It's, the most, it's the most popular yeah, size it in it America. Is. It's, yeah. it's a great size. Yep. Not too big, not too robust small. Though, but that's my favorite. That's a Churchill. It's usually seven by 48. That's the classic Cuban size for a Churchill, but some of them are bigger. Sometimes they'll go 50, 52. Some are even 54. What's the technical difference between the Churchill and the, the double Corona? Double co Classically, a double Corona is seven and a half by 50 or 52, uh -huh. and a Churchill is seven by 48. All right, that's so it's the, a little, the ring gauge is a little smaller. Yeah. Okay. I've seen some companies like uh, Punch and uh, Hoyo de Monterey, their Churchills are the size of Corona size. Have you noticed that? Yeah, yeah, there there are some brands that really have gone very far away from the traditional meaning of right. the size names, and it's very hard to keep up with them. Right, because Ashton's people are another changing example. Them all the right. time. The Ashton Churchill is a double Corona, and the Prime Minister is Prime Minister is more of a Churchill. Yeah. Churchill. Right, yeah. Mm -hmm. And a, a Hoyo double Corona is smaller than a Churchill. Right. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, then we get into some of the big boys. This is a six by sixty. It's my uh, favorite. Probably the most popular size in mm -hmm. our stores yeah. these days right. of almost anything. Yes. Mm -hmm. but this is a monstrosity. Oof, that's this crazy. is a 7 by 72. I that's like embarrassing. that. That's crazy. Uh, mm -hmm. When Tia like says that. that a cigar is a Gordo, she's usually referring to a 6, six by, by 60. 60 right. mm -hmm. One thing that some companies do with Parejos is instead of putting a regular cap on it, they put the cap on and they twist the little end of tobacco and tie it in a little knot. People call it a pigtail. The, you can see why. It looks like a pig's tail. The official name is actually a cola de cerdo, which means tail of a pig. No way. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, way. Yes, yeah, way. Yeah, way. Yeah, way. Okay, so that's Parejos. Mm -hmm. You also have the second category of cigars, which is Figurados, and Figurado really means any cigar that isn't straight. And there are a few very standard things. Uh, although this is fatter than usual, this is a Perfecto. Perfecto means that it's rounded at the head, it tapers upward, and then it has the little nipple on the end. Nice. Mm -hmm. Perfectos come in different sizes and different proportions. Uh, the bigger they get, they start to call them Salomones sometimes, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. but it's essentially the same shape. Uh, this is an interesting Perfecto. It's tapered at both ends, but it has a tail on it also. This is not called a pigtail, and it's not called a cola de cerdo. <laughs> it's actually called a cola de caballo, which means tail of the horse. 
Because uh -huh. this looks a little more like a horsetail. Yes, it does. Mm -hmm. I love cigars like Some that. Some of so you, cool. yeah, yeah, they're, they're, they're cool. just cool. They really are. But they're more uh, expensive, too. Yeah. Are they? they are. Generally. Labor intensive to make okay. them. Yeah. The, to me, the most interesting thing about a pigtail cigar is you don't have to cut it. Yeah. Right. Just yeah. twist it off. You uh -huh. just twist it, and it leaves a perfect punch hole in yes. the end yep. of the cigar. Mm -hmm. Some of you have probably heard of a chisel, and I'm sure everyone here knows what they are, but you might not know what a chisel is. This is the chisel shape. This one happens to be box pressed, but you can see that it's flattened out on the end. It's not a round point, it's a flat point. Some people really like the way that fits in their mouth. Mm -hmm. They find it more comfortable. A lot of people don't, are, don't, aren't familiar with how the, the best way to cut that yeah, is. So I'm sure there's, there's yeah. different, differing opinions on that. There are uh, differing opinions. It will work with a V-cut, but the most popular way to do this is a straight guillotine cut and very, very little of it. Nip the tip. I, I really, see. I thought oh, you could you pinch like it. A nip the yeah, tip. can't you just pinch it and it cracks? Like no, the other. Oh, way. No, the other way. Pinch it that way, and then it'll just rupture. And then that. Oh, I never even thought about doing that. I didn't know that. Pinch it, and it'll just break. Oh, I like that. And I know a lot of. Now I'm gonna have to smoke it. You're gonna say that. Yeah, that's a shame. A lot of people. A lot of people smoke so few cigars. A lot of people punch these cigars. We'll punch it on the top. Are you serious? Yeah, we'll punch it on the little hole on the like the side, all the way at the end. Yeah. And then you, I've seen people do that with regular torpedoes also. Really? Yeah. I should it, try that. It's very, I've done that. It's very interesting the, um, the way the how the, smoke comes the way the smoke out. comes, the smoke comes out. out. Yeah. 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 It's, it's much different. You know different. I love a punch got, cut. So. It's got a different mouthfeel. Yeah. It's, yeah. it's, it's cool. It, it goes to the top of your throat, the top of your palate, and then where you can turn it upside down and, hits and then the, it hits your down. tongue. Yeah, it's, mm. it's really strange the way it does I'm going to try that. Thanks. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Now, I'm going to do something interesting. We all love to smoke cigars, but maybe since you're busy smoking them, you haven't had a lot of opportunity to see what's going on inside the cigar. We've talked about how they're made. You know that there's a filler and a binder and a wrapper, but you don't get to see them in pieces. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut this cigar open. This with makes any, me nervous. Paul with any yeah, Paul yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. No, I'm okay. <laughs> sure? It's going to be one jagged this cut. Is a, this is a professional <laughs> straight. Thing. Okay, so here's a wrapper. This one happens to be a Maduro. It's also dried out. It's a little dry from sitting here under the hot lights. But here's an interesting thing that you might notice right away, aside from it falling apart because it's dry. It's very thin. Yeah. 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 Mm -hmm. Wow. When you pick up a wrapper that's been fermented and is ready to create the cigar, the amazing thing is that even though it's this thin, it's very flexible. Mm -hmm. it's, it's almost like rubber. You can right. stretch it mm -hmm. over your fingers. Well, it's also very easy to, to tear and rip. That's why it's, it's very difficult to roll or put a wrapper on a right. cigar. Right, yeah. exactly, yeah. yeah. I've tried many times. Yeah. Really? Yeah. Oh, yeah. It hasn't worked out well. It wasn't pretty. It wasn't pretty. I still have the ones we made it. In Camacho. Camacho. No, um, yeah. Camacho? No. I was Camacho. F uh, Rocky. Wasn't was, it? No. Oh, okay. What are you guys talking about? They went on a trip. Oh, they yeah, they went on their trip. Field trip. Mm -hmm. yeah. Field trip. Field trip. Yeah. Field trip. Yeah. Yeah. trip yeah. I mean, part of the trip was we got to actually roll our own roll cigars. Roll our own cigars. Yeah, it was pretty cool. Yeah. This is a perfect demonstration of at least one of the reasons that you want to have a wrapper on your cigar. Well, <laughs> yeah. Aside from the great. flavor, yeah. the binder leaf, which is the next leaf down, and as we've talked about, this is what holds the cigar together, and it facilitates the burning. Mm -hmm. And in some blends, it contributes to the flavor, but usually not a lot. Uh, but they're ugly. And you, you they could, are. But you could smoke that you cigar smoke right now. That, yeah. You could smoke mm. it right now, and it would give you a very good sense of just how much a wrapper contributes to the flavor of the cigar yep. by smoking Absolutely. a cigar you're familiar with. Without take the wrapper. Take off the wrapper. Mm. But the real fun starts to happen once you get inside. So let's take the binder off real quick. Very nice. Well, hold that up a little mm. more. Hold that up a little. Hold up a little higher. For, there you go. This is going to be a little no, messy. I see you Actually, haven't touched like the cap at all the, because if you did... The binder that. wrapper is usually thicker, correct? Yes. This is not a very thick binder, but it's wrapped around multiple times. So they double, it, it looks like it's this, double bound? It's not two separate binders. It's just a bigger leaf done around twice. Oh, okay. Hmm. In, and gotcha. and what all that does is gives it strength if you're using a, a thinner binder. Well, and, then, and also on a cigar that big, maybe yeah. there's some... Well, everything seems thin uh -huh. when the cigar is this fat. Yeah. yeah. I'm going to cut but this But I see a you haven't more. touched the top, though, so... It's... I just don't want it to fall apart. Oh, that's what I was going to say. And while Paul's doing that, a couple things we didn't mention, the, the uh, 
the top of the cigar, the part you put in your mouth, is uh, called the, the head of the cigar, um, and the bottom part is, is called the foot. It's actual uh, tidbit there. Mm -hmm. Nice. That's really interesting. Yeah. No. Hey, you got to do something while he's tearing yeah. the cigar. Yeah, yeah. We yeah. all just sitting here looking at it. Why is it? a little too dry from sitting oh, here okay. on the table. There, so, goes. there, so there we go. There you go. You're good. I, I didn't want to break it up. Okay. Mm -hmm. Well, then it'll look like a short filler. Well, that's now what the I cat didn't fell. want to there, have happen. Now but the cat fell. But here's, here's what's going on in here. Is You can see there are different layers of leaves. Mm -hmm. Right. So this cigar was done with the booking method. Yeah. This is not n to bar which we've mm -hmm. talked about, mm -hmm. yes. right? Where they roll each mm -hmm. leaf up separately. Correct. Uh, and you can see also that these leaves are very different in color and character. Yeah, I was going to ask about that. So some of these are lighter. Mm -hmm. Yeah, mm -hmm. and that's most likely to be the seco. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, if I was going to guess, I would say this is the Volado, and in the very middle. Unfortunately, it's the one that I broke the most. Is going to be the Lajero, and that's going to be Isn't darker darkest? Yeah. and more intense. In fact, even dry, you can smell that. Oh, yeah, absolutely. I can actually smell it from yeah, here. Yeah, you smell it. Oh, I smell it now. Yeah. And, and Lejaro is just awesome. an awesome leaf. It does. From, from the top of the plant, you know, it's getting all that sun. It's converting mm -hmm. all that sugar into, you know, yeah. all that starch into sugar and flavor. Mm. Lejaro mm -hmm. is just mm -hmm. a wonderful thing. It smells very sweet. Wow. Yeah, but yeah. it smells like peppery or mm -hmm. stronger. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's an interesting thing about Lejero that there are sweet Lejeros. Okay. There are simply strong Lejeros. They, it's, it depends on the brew. And when they say tobacco. double Lejero, they just put more of the Lejero? Yes. But I think uh, the, now hearing that, I think people get confused because every time you talk about Lejero, people just think it's a powerhouse mm -hmm. leaf. They think, oh, I've got a lot of Lejero in there. It's going to be powerful. It can be, but it doesn't have to be. And this is where the blending art right, comes right. in yeah, again. Yeah. Different go. Lajeros have very different characters. Mm -hmm. And you blend for that for the character that you want to achieve. Mm -hmm. I'm tempted to just smoke this. <laughs> Straight Lajero. All right. So now that I've made a big mess, yeah. thank you. Mm -hmm. Wow. Well, yeah. Thank you very much. Uh, that's that's very, very interesting. That's pretty cool. For, for wow. That's very you don't see that too often. No. no, you don't. No, I actually don't see it at all. Because you don't no. really want to cut as them a open. smoker, you kind of don't want to see this. <laughs> right. Yeah. But it's interesting to find out what's going on in Actually, there. Yeah. Art yeah, does that a lot. When, when sales reps come in and they tell us that a cigar is long filler and yeah. we don't think it is, oh. Art will cut it open. Wow. Yeah. To see if it is or not. Yeah. But, and you know, most, of the, most of the time it's not. Yeah, he knows. Wow. Yeah, he can feel. Art's He's pretty good. good. He just yeah. touches a cigar and he knows. You know, you bring up something that's maybe worth mentioning. When we talk about long filler and short filler, long filler, I mean, the leaf is cut, but it's the full length of the cigar. Mm -hmm. Right. Explaining what long filler is. When they're making these, they cut the ends of the leaf off. Right. And that becomes scrap. Mm -hmm. which winds up looking like this. That's what short filler is. Right. right. Mm -hmm. Well, that, that's only because it broke apart when you well, were... Well, yeah, yeah, I'm, yeah, I'm yeah. not saying this was made of short filler. Mm -hmm. I just wanted people to right. have and Usually they double that. bind those to keep them... To hold it together, together. So, so, it's not so, so it doesn't fall apart oh, in your right, mouth. Your mouth right. dump exactly. Exactly. Awesome. Mm -hmm. That's that makes cool. sense. Okay. I'm guessing you're going to want to let that. Well, no, I'm going to want. I'm going to want. No, that would be as That's what I'm talking about. Absolutely. Well, while Paul's lighting it, why don't the rest of us... Talk about you it. You want to lead us off, Taylor? Talk about the, what were your thoughts on the VSG? Ah, uh, the VSG. Exactly. What can you say about the VSG? I mean, <laughs> there's nothing to say. It's a, buy it. It's a great cigar. Um, <laughs> it's actually not badly priced either. I mean, I, I mean, it's a little up there, but I would, I would totally. For a serious cigar smoker. Yeah, mind. I would yeah. totally buy buy a VSG. I mean, um, the construction is great. I love that it's a soft box press. Mm -hmm. Right. Yeah. Um, it's a sun grown. My favorite wrapper. Just, it's all great. I love it. Mm -hmm. And um, I tell you, when I first started smoking, I was afraid of the VSG because I thought it looked like a very powerful cigar. That's true. And I, I was very afraid of people. It can be intimidating looking in its wrapper. Yeah. You know, it's got a nice, rich looking wrapper, mm -hmm. and it just has this. It looks like it's going to be an overpowering cigar. Now, it's, now it's, not a, it's not a meek and mild cigar by any means. No, no form, not at all. But it's very well balanced, the power and the flavors and everything in it. So you don't be afraid to try a VSG, even if you're not a really heavy smoker. Um, it's a very good cigar. It, it probably will not overpower you. And just uh, take it easy while you're smoking it, and you'll have it's a very good cigar. Good point. When, when the VSG first came out, 
it was one of the stronger cigars on the market because the trend towards stronger cigars was just getting started mm. then. So people relate to it as, oh, it's one of those power cigars. Mm -hmm. In the years since it first mm -hmm. came out, other cigars have come along that right. are way stronger. Yeah. This is substantial, mm -hmm. even a little one like this. Mm -hmm. Yeah, The flavor is, is substantial, mm -hmm. it's yeah. rich, it's chewy, and of course, since it's an Ecuadorian sun grown wow. out there. I knew it. I especially I knew it. Yeah. I knew it. Exactly, yeah. Um, I really like this cigar. Um, it's not my favorite cigar. It's not something I know Caroline would disagree with me, but... Um, no, I disagree with you. Yeah, a lot of people disagree with it me. Is your it's not. Cigar. It's not one of my favorite cigars. I do like the cigar, you know, let me say that. But um, it's not something that I would go to uh, on a regular basis. This is... Every once in a while, I'll smoke it. Uh, I can des definitely taste the pepperiness to this cigar. It really comes out from as soon as you light it up. But it's big not overpowering. Big hit of power, uh, pepper. Yeah. Get the big pepper. hit of pepper. But you're right. It's not. It's because it's so smooth. Mm -hmm. You don't. It, it's not overpowering. Yeah. But what am, what this doesn't my, go to my taste profile. One of my favorite uh, aspects of the cigar is the actual aroma. I mean, the yeah. aroma yes. from this is so sweet. And I think part of that is because the, the Ashton VSG, the boxes, the, these very aromatic Spanish mm -hmm. cedar. Mm -hmm. And I really like that. I love that taste in the cigar. Mm -hmm. um, so I get a lot of that. Um, this cigar was also, the Torpedo was ranked in Cigar Aficionado's top 25, I think, the past two years. So yeah. this, mm -hmm. is, this, is a, this is a fantastic cigar. This is one of my yeah. favorites. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So are we, I, doing I, the rate, are we doing ratings? I just wanted to mention, one of the interesting things about VSGs, they come in a lot of sizes. Twelve sizes, yeah. Wow. And it is one of the cigars that tastes very different from, from one size right, to another. Right, I will exactly. absolutely agree it's, with that. It is a classic example of how very different point. a cigar can taste in, in different right. formats. Right. And personally, I haven't smoked this size before, and I really This, is, a, this is my favorite size. Yeah, this a lot is, of flavor yeah. in this. Yeah, I yeah. like the turkey Definitely. size for some mm -hmm. reason. Yeah, I do. Mm -hmm. I, I don't know why. Well, right? What would you rate it? Um, well, the ratings are from 1 to 5 if you're just tuning in. And I'm going to give it 4.25. I'll have to agree. 4.25 is right on the mark for this yeah. cigar. It's a very good cigar. It's out. It, it, exactly. I'm, I'm kind of in Rob's country. I like the cigar <laughs> a lot, but it's Rob's, Rob's country Rob's favorite. Country. Yeah. Oh, boy. So I'm going to give it a 4. Yeah. Um, I give it a three seven five. Ooh, I know. I know. All right, so I'm not really? in Rob's country. Wow, yeah. and it's, Rob's the opposite you know, today. I have to change my it's, score to counteract you. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah. No, I, I was. Uh, I would give it a four point seven five. I, really? I, this is a fantastic. Wow. It cigar. is. It is a. It's I a good cigar, it. but it's just not. Doesn't fit my. Now taste in this profile. size, I'm not really happy. I don't know why, but really? the, uh, the torpedo. The you like mm -hmm. the fat ones. I, mm -hmm. yeah. I do like the fat ones. Yeah. Yeah. Well, thank you for the ratings. Yeah. Well, the holidays are coming up, so... Can't wait, yeah. What are... I know people are wanting to know what are really good gifts for a cigar smoker. Well, you know what? We just so happen to have our own holiday Max Packs. We, we just happen great to have them here. We just happen wow, to have them gonna, right here. I know. I'm just so great there. So I'm going to show you some of the different ones that we have. First, we have a Figurado pack. This one contains a lot of Ora inside, so it's a really great buy. The second pack is a Robusto. We have one in here that's the Upman. H. Upman, which is the uh, Club Select. Great cigar as well. They're all four pack, by the way. Um, the second one is a Toro, third is a Toro. It's a Monte Cabinet Select. Another great cigar inside here. And as well, you have three more. The fourth is another Toro pack. This one's a little bit more like a Maduro. We have the newest release, which is the Nico Puro. From Alex, Alex, from Alex Bradley. 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 I knew that. Mm -hmm. And then. Last but not least, the Churchill size, the big boy. We have the Hoyo de Monterey, which is my favorite because it's grown and it has Honduran tobacco, and it's the uh, Excalibur. I oh, love this first one. cigar. The Excalibur. Excalibur. Was it? Oh, it? I love really? this cigar. Yes, it was. So, love this cigar. so what you should know is all Thank of these Gary. have an assortment of cigars in them. They're not four of the same cigar. Each yes. one is an assortment, right. mm -hmm. and all of them are dramatically discounted from what you would pay for any of the cigars individually. Mm -hmm. right. The discounts are fantastic. And if you want to 
find out more about yes. what's in the packs and what they cost? Yes, they yes. Cost, yeah. um, all additional information will be on our website, all, like always. It's uh, cccigars.com. That's double C cigars.com. Good job. Check it out. Nice That's my job. You know, we also have other uh, gift packs, uh, such as uh, cutters, lighters from Zycar. The accessory the stuff. Accessory yeah. stuff. Yes. Yeah, let me show you That's some of that. That's the stuff I like. Uh, we have here a cutter and lighter Beautiful. from Zycar. This is really nice. And Zycar's lifetime warranty, right? Lifetime warranty. No, no questions asked. Anything ever happens to it, just send it back. They'll send you a brand new one or fix it for you. Also, we have um, I like that one. an cool. ashtray that uh, combination with a cutter and lighter in it also. These are really nice. And I That's love how the color. Combination. Yeah, yeah, this like also the... comes in black. Oh, OK. So it's really white nice. and black. have a white or a black. All right. Mm -hmm. awesome. And we also have a, a sports pack that has, yeah, it has the, the cutter, the lighter, uh, five, five count travel pack, and also a over here there's a um, an ashtray that fits into your cup holder, Ooh. which is really nice. Yeah, and it's got a lid. I was going to say, yeah, so, it, so it doesn't smell. Right. You can just close the lid up, and then your car yeah, is good. Yeah, they're good. Good. They're gorgeous. Yeah. 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 And the pricing on these is terrific. Yes. You see yeah, that yeah, everything. The yeah. Well. Yeah. Prices are so, awesome. And this is by no means so. the end of all the. the no, we that's just an example. Yeah, a lot more. We don't have enough time to. No. So everything. Yeah. One of the one of the cool things that we're doing now, if you go to our website um, on the home page, we're going to have an icon there where you can actually sign up for a gift registry. Um, a lot of a lot of customers tell us when they come in during the holidays, they have no idea what to get. You know, a significant other or you know, somebody that they, that they they like that smokes cigars. So simply, all you need to do is go to the the web page, which we just talked about. Um, on the home page, you click on the icon, um, and there's going to be a place for you to leave your name. Um, the store that you shop in most frequently, and basically what you want. You know, yeah. are you looking for a cutter? Is it the Zycar Black uh, XI1 or cigars? Um, it's just a really cool thing, and we will keep these in each different each of our stores, so um, you can send one of your loved ones in, and, and we'll know exactly what you want. As long as they can say your name, mm -hmm. yeah. we'll, we'll be able to look well, you up. Yeah, yeah, we yeah, have yeah, to figure exactly. out what you, you want. You just go to that contact section on there where you want to contact us, and don't forget to leave your name. And what store you go to, that's the important thing, yeah. and then the information, because when we pull them off the web page from that contact section, that's how we sort them out and make sure they go to the right location so they'll be there for your loved ones to see. Right, we have seven stores, so all over the Philadelphia area. So and Reading. And Reading. Mm -hmm. That's the Philadelphia area. No, that's, Philadelphia that's area. Not Reading. And, and Philadelphia. Yes, it is. And it is. Freehold, New Jersey. Freehold, which New Jersey. Is not the Philadelphia. Oh, all okay, right. Well, that's not. Well, New Jersey. That's I think it's like so far. Oh. So Rob, what are we, uh, we going to have up coming up uh, next week? Next week, we're doing the Perdomo 20th Anniversary uh, Cigar. So um, that's, that's really good. Yeah. Also, we're going to talk about uh, what goes into a decision about uh, picking out cigars for yourself or for other people. So. Mm -hmm. And we're also with Paul. Oh, Paul is going to do this. Get rid of me. I'm always here doing my exactly. And we also have humidors as well, too, um, for our guests. For yeah, for gifts. Yeah. 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 All right. All right. Well, cool. Do we want to say goodbye? Yeah. Yeah. I think it's I that time. We've run out of time. I don't want to say goodbye. Uh, bye bye for to. now. Oh, parting is such sweet sorrow. Oh, oh, oh my God. God. <laughs> smoke often and smoke happy. Ciao for now, everybody. Thanks for tuning in. Um, again, our website is cccigars.com. That's double C cigars.com. I just like so the way you that. say that. Yeah. <laughs> you, do, you do that. Ooh, well. he does yeah. do it. Right? I just Max's goodbye. Well, somebody say Max's goodbye. Somebody say yeah, it. Yeah, you do it. It's just no, another goodbye. beautiful day in paradise.